How to create a PostgreSQL database with Ansible? I'm going to show you a live demo with some simple Ansible code. I'm Luca Burton and welcome to today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Ansible create a PostgreSQL database. Let's talk about the Ansible module PostgreSQL underscore db. The full name is community.postgresql.postgresql underscore db, which means that it's part of a collection or module community.postgresql maintained by the Ansible community to, community to interact with PostgreSQL. The collection is tested with Ansible Core version 2.11 plus. Prior versions such as 2.9 or 2.10 are not supported. The purpose of the module is to add or remove PostgreSQL databases from remote host. Parameters. Let me summarize the main parameter of the module PostgreSQL underscore DB. Ansible supposes that uh, PostgreSQL is on the target node. The only required database is name, the name of the database to interact with. The parameter state specifies the desired state or the operation for the selected database. The option present means that the database should be created and the option absent means that the database should be deleted. Other useful operations are dump and restore that use pg underscore dump command line utility, the embedded PostgreSQL utility to backup and restore to the target file. Another useful operation is rename from name to target. This module uses PsychoPG2, a Python PostgreSQL database library. You must ensure that the Python 3 PsychoPG2 is installed on the target host before using this module. Demo time. Let's jump into a real life Ansible playbook to create a PostgreSQL database. I'm going to show you how to create the TestDB database in the current PostgreSQL server. Are you ready? Let's have fun! Welcome on my editor. I'm going to share with you one Ansible playbook to create a PostgreSQL database. First of all, let's begin our play with a name PostgreSQL demo that is going to target hosts all of my inventory and let me set also become to true to execute the following code as root. Let me define also one uh, variable db underscore name. This is the name of our database, the one that we are going to create. On the task list, two different tasks. The first is called utility present is only it only verify that the python utility is present on our target system using ansible dot built in dot package module uh, the name of the package is python free dash psycho pg2 And the state must be present, of course. So once the utility is successfully present on our system, we could create the database. So let's create DB and uh, using community dot postgresql dot postgresql underscore DB. The state must be present and the name of the database 
is the one defined in our variable. So the value of db underscore name. Uh, we need to execute this code as Postgres user. So let me set become to true and become underscore user to Postgres. And that's it. Great. Now our code is ready to create uh, the database DB name, specifically testDB. And that's it. This code is going to be executed under the database administrator user called Postgres. Are you excited? Let's move on to the terminal. Welcome to my terminal. Now let me demonstrate in a demo machine. First of all, let me connect via SSH DevOps as username at demoexample.com. Let me switch to root user and following, let me switch to the Postgres administrative user. That is Postgres. So su dash Postgres because it's important to load also home directory of this user. Running the code psql testdb, we are going to connect to our database management system and ask for the database testdb. That doesn't exist. So let me disconnect from the free user, Postgres, root, and DevOps. Now I could execute my Ansible playbook on the inventory of my demo machine and let me execute db underscore create yml. This code is going to be super fast, just verify that the utility tools are present and on my machine always are already present, we got OK status and then create the database, we get a change status. Everything seems super smooth, so now let's execute to again the code and we are expecting one OK status on both the tasks. The execution is super fast and we got two OK status. This property is called also hidden potency of the Ansible module. Well, everything seems correct. Let's verify together connecting via SSH DevOps as username at demoexample.com. This time I need again to switch to root user with sudo su and then to the Postgres administrative user. So su dash Postgres and this time running psql test db. We are not receiving one error but a prompt with the name of the database. Now the fun began. Yay! So we successfully created this database in the Postgres completely automatically with Ansible. Yay! Great result! Now you know how to create a PostgreSQL database with Ansible. Thank you for watching. See us on the next lesson of Ansible Pilot. Let's automate more of our journey. Yay! This video is part of our Ansible automation program. Sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun.